Hey everyone, today I've got a review of this exclusive LEGO Store minifigure pack. This one is from the LEGO Store Grand Opening here in Toronto, Ontario at the Yorkdale LEGO Mall all the way back in 2013. This set is now over 8 years old. It is this set is now over 8 years old, as you can see, still comes in its original packaging with all of the minifigures included. This is number 192 of 400 available, there are only 400 made to celebrate the launch. This is not the first grand opening minifigure that I've ever reviewed here on my YouTube channel, I did review the one for the Ottawa grand opening last year, however, this is the very first one I've obviously reviewed from Toronto and is the only one that contains three Lego minifigures. So I'm super excited to show you this in a bit more detail. Let's just get right into it. All right, so here's the set in a bit more detail here. As you can see, it's got the exclusive LEGO Store Grand opening pack here on the front with the three minifigures included. They do look like city minifigures, and I haven't taken these out of the package yet, so I will do that in just a second. As you can see, when you flip it around, you'll be able to see that it looks just like a standard minifigure pack at the very back. I feel like now they are a bit different designs. Like, I don't think that, that like, I, when I worked for LEGO Store, I don't remember this being the exact design for BAM, but I could be a little bit mistaken. But still very, very cool. I'm really excited to take a look at it um, as you can see it looks just like a standard minifigure pack from the back and then of course from the front it looks a little different now I'm gonna actually open up the figures here and I want to do so without actually ruining it but when you see you can open it up here there is the special grand opening thing on the front and it actually looks like it's glued in and it's actually a little bit more heavy duty it's a uh, cardboard not just paper and it's in there pretty tight so I'm definitely not gonna take it out but now I'm just gonna pull out the minifigures and give you a look at them in a bit more detail all right here's what these three minifigures look like when they're out of their packaging they are just pretty standard lego city minifigures and i mean by pretty standard I, like they're from 2013 so i don't even think they make these torsos anymore but from 2013 they were just pretty standard minifigure parts uh, as you can see from left to right we've got this postal worker here it looks like he's got like a mail carrier but he's also holding this life vest which doesn't make a lot of sense uh, I would have thought that this guy was going to be holding that, but this is the way I got it. I did get it second hand. I did get this second hand to make this review, so that's why it could have been a little bit mistaken. But he's holding the life preserver there. He's got some orange pants there. Of course, the red torso with the male logo. He's also got a standard Lego City head and actually my sig fig hair. It is the dark brown. When you spin him around, as you can see, this is where the customization comes in. It says 2013 Lego Store, Toronto, Ontario. I'm not really sure why it doesn't say Yorkdale. Um, I thought it would have said Yorkdale somewhere on here because that's what, when the store did open. Um, but still really cool. I guess they just made the pretty generic packaging and sent these out. The next minifigure here is the beach guy as well. Um, he's got green pants. He's got the, another cool torso. I do like this one. It's like a muscle shirt. The standard beach eyes, you know, with the sunglasses on it call them beach eyes and then slick back hair as well his back printing is the exact same but of course instead of white printing on red it is blue printing on white which looks really cool again 2013 at the lego server and opening and then of course finally we've got the robber here he's got he's been caught he's got his handcuffs there and as you can see from his face he's got a smile which is weird because he's a robber and he's got slick back hair which also looks really cool and then when you spin him around He's also got the same custom Lego store printing 2013 from Toronto, Ontario. All of these minifigures are really quite nice. Uh, the printing is very well done. Personally, I know this is eight years old now, so it's a little relevant. I would have loved to see Lego do a little bit more customization for these. Like when I reviewed the Ottawa one, I really liked that figure because while all the parts were pretty generic, it was custom printed on the front with the Canadian Maple Leaf. So it would have been kind of cool to see these minifigures custom printed as well because just from the front, like they look like pretty standard boring minifigures. You could have gotten any Lego City set in 2013. Um, they only really count and they only really look really cool and awesome when they're in the packaging. And you don't even get to see the back when they're in the packaging. So that would have just been my preference for Lego if they would have made these a little bit more customized uh, to the Toronto store, to Yorkdale maybe. But I can't complain. This was eight years ago. And Lego definitely has seemed to learn their lessons since then. Um, just based on the bright open video they've had since. So this is what the minifigures look like in the packaging again. Like I said, this is number 192 of 400. I did put the minifigures back in there and like I said, you can't see the back of them anymore. But also like I was saying is Yorkdale's not printed anywhere on it, which is kind of weird. Like I know this one is from Yorkdale. I know it's the one from the store I worked at, but I just realized it just says Toronto Lego store grand opening. So I'm not sure if Yorkdale was the very first location in Toronto to get a Lego store, but I do not believe so. I think there was one at some other malls since. 
Um, but it's just pretty interesting that they didn't, like, I know the Ottawa one had Ottawa written on it, but this one does not. So pretty interesting and just a, a neat observation that I noticed. All right, so thanks everybody so much for checking out my review of the LEGO Store Grand Opening Toronto minifigures from the Yorkdale LEGO Store when it opened in 2013. Overall, this is a pretty cool set. I'm really happy that I had a chance to review it today. While the minifigures are not anything special or unique other than their back printing, it is still really cool to have something like this in your collection just because, you know, it's from when the store first opened and especially because this is the location I used to work at. So that's why it was pretty special to review today. But anyway, thanks again so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. Stay tuned for some future videos and reviews, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video.